uh, I want to show uh, a little bit about laser slicing. This is a model I like to use because it's got multiple levels and straight edges internally. If you look at this from the side, you'll see that the center and two sides are at different heights or depths rather. Um, so if I go in here with default slicing turned on for laser mode, slice it. Um, here I've got heights at the zero. So it's detecting the deltas uh, in it's cutting a midline between any two sections. Um, and if I preview that, you'll see there are the four slices, the bottom, the two middles on the top. <clears throat> And that's interesting if you want to slice it that way. Um, one of the things you might want to do on like a Glowforge is to cut out, cut out the outside, but etch the interior. And so you go to merge for that. And the slice preview looks the same, but the printout preview looks a little bit different. And it's a little bit subtle, but you'll see the colors here. This, these outside colors are, are not the same. Um, it's easier to see this when you actually download the SVG and then to take a look at the SVG itself. Here you'll see the interior and the lettering and the holes are all different colors, which means in a Glowforge you can give those uh, different operations for the same component. And that's what the merged output is designed to do, but it only works when the outlines of the layers line up exactly and it detects these things are overlapping. So here you'll see there's one layer that matches this, so that's one color. There are two layers that match this, so that's gonna be a second color. There are gonna be three layers that match this outside, so that's a fourth color, and then there are gonna be four layers that match these holes, so that's a fifth color um, or fourth color. So that's how the coloring is determined for merged. Um, yeah, so I hope that makes 